Good morning. We are now celebrating the great octave of Christmas. Of course, last Sunday, December 25th, we celebrated the solemnity of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This Wednesday is the celebration of the Feast of the Most Holy Innocents. This week, I will conclude my review of the seven gifts of God the Holy Spirit which each of us receives when we receive the great sacrament of initiation, the sacrament of confirmation. The seventh and last gift of God the Holy Spirit, the church refers to as fear of the Lord. Now let's be clear, this gift of God the Holy Spirit doesn't mean that somehow we are afraid of God as we most frequently use that word or that term, fear or being afraid of. What this gift of God the Holy Spirit gives to us is that awe and that reverence for God as our Creator, as our Lord and Savior, and as our constant companion and sanctifier throughout the entire length of our earthly lives. We can use this great gift of fear of the Lord everywhere. Whenever we are celebrating a sacrament, praying together uh, with friends or family or by ourselves, wherever we are, this gift of God the Holy Spirit, the fear of the Lord, situates us in mind and heart that truly God in his otherness, his transcendence, is yet so intimately involved with and joined to us in our earthly lives of faith, hope, and charity that we naturally kneel or stand in his presence with great humility but also tremendous gratitude. And therefore, this humble gratitude is to carry over into how we speak, and how we think and how we act each day of our lives. So this great and seventh gift of God the Holy Spirit, the fear of the Lord, really encompasses all of the other gifts we have looked at from God the Holy Spirit. And all of these seven gifts taken together should be those graces which animate our daily lives as we strive more and more and better and better to love God with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength and love all others as we love ourselves. May God continue to bless each and every one of you throughout this beautiful Christmas season.